Hey guys, this is Justin. Welcome to another CHL review video. For those who don't know, I live in the city of Halifax. Here we have a QMJHL team, the Halifax Moose. It's, I've been lucky enough to get a press pass. So let's catch up with the Moose. And I'm going to put timestamps on screen if you want to skip around this video. First, let's do a bit of recap. So the game that I saw was the Halifax Mooseheads versus the Cape Breton Eagles, what used to be called the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. This is a classic rivalry as the Mooseheads and the Eagles are the only two Nova Scotian Q teams, and they're sort of a fun little K Breton mainlander rivalry as well. Going into the game, the Mooseheads have been on an absolute heater. 17 wins, zero losses, and two overtime losses in their last 19 games. However, one of those overtime losses did come to the Eagles. However, on its face, the Mooseheads are clearly the more talented team here. Three of the top four league scorers are on the Mooseheads. Jordan Dume, who has 86 points in 41 games, Alexandre Doucette, who has 77 points in 47 games, and Josh Lawrence, who has 73 points in 46 games. Josh Lawrence is actually a mid-season pickup. Before being traded, he had 32 points in 25 games. Now, with the Mooseheads, he has 41 points in 21 games. So, there's a ton of goal scoring, and the Mooseheads get support from really all four lines, but especially their top three. And you see skaters like Marcus Vitacek with 58 points in 45 games, really helping to round out the scoring. The Herd, which by the way is what people call the Mooseheads sometimes, have also been getting great goaltending. Both games that I've seen Mathis Rousseau play in since I've got this press pass, he's performed incredibly. Right now he leads the queue in wins and is top four in both save percentage and GAA. Finally, the Mooseheads also have the most goals for in the QMJHL by almost 30. The Eagles, on the other hand, are having a somewhat middling year and have fallen below a 50% win percentage. All right, so the game I went to was the Hockey Fights Cancer Night. I tried to get as much of the arena's atmosphere as I could. That's something a lot of you were really interested in. So I'm going to sprinkle videos in throughout today's upload. I went down to the ice during some of the mid-game stuff. I had Hal, the mascot, accidentally shoot a puck at me. That was totally my fault. But I mean, the crowd was totally electric and no surprise. There were 9,000 fans in the building. I believe it was the highest attendance all year. The Mooseheads have been coming in at nearly 100% capacity for the Scotiabank Center. And I will admit, that is one thing I sort of miss being up in the press box just being among the crowd. The last thing I'll mention is that the Eagles had a player some of you noticed during the World Juniors because of his name, Ivan Ivan. From some discussions I had, he's actually quite well loved among the community and he's quite a player. Anyway, period one, the Mooseheads went up super early. I was still writing some pregame notes, but Lawrence got the puck in the slot. Beautiful shot. I love the celebration afterwards. The crowd was just absolutely hyped up. About nine minutes in, we had a very exciting sequence that shows why I love junior hockey so much. We had a great chance on one hand, then a missed trip, a bad D zone play on the other hand, then a breakaway. A couple minutes later, another breakaway, some defensive breakdowns during this period, and that's why junior hockey is sometimes so fun to watch. It's exciting. These players have an incredible level of skill. They're not always as sort of rigid into the systems as you see in the NHL. The Mooset scoring continued in the second with Vitacek receiving a beautiful feed from behind the net, which he easily finished far side. And at this point, the Mooseheads looked completely dominant. I was excited expecting this game to be a bit chippier or more physical, especially where K. Brighton was clearly outskilled, but to be honest, I don't even really think that they had the assets to do that. The Mooseheads were just dominating, and near the end of the second, Vitacek would receive another beautiful pass, this side, far side, and he would make no mistake for his 26th of the year. Going into the third, the Eagles looked out of it. They did, however, manage to take up the physicality a bit. Halfway through the third, I noticed a change in tempo, and two minutes later, the Eagles would score their first, ruining Rousseau's shutout. They honestly weren't able to keep this pace up for long, though, and with six minutes left, the Mooseheads got two really good chances. LaRue would end up capping the game with a somewhat weak one that the goalie definitely would have wanted back, and this was just an overall bad play. Like, the Mooseheads' other forward slipped behind here. That could have been a pass and a good shot. Either way, from three minutes in, this one was never really in doubt. The Herd actually played again on the next night. This was a Saturday game. They played on Sunday against the Acme Bathurst T10. That was another dominant victory for the Mooseheads' 11th win in a row. Josh Lawrence had a hat trick in that one. And honestly, you know it's a dominating night when it's a 3-0 game, and the losing goalie was one of the three stars. As mentioned, that's 11 wins in a row, 21 games without a regulation loss, and the Mooseheads were completely unbeaten in the month of January. The team is getting hot at completely the right time. The season ends March 25th, and they'll definitely be looking not only to take top spot in the queue, but win it all at the Memorial Cup. 
Cup. However, Quebec is also amazing. I would not be shocked if whoever came out of the queue won it all. That being said, there are also obviously other good teams. The Seattle Thunderbirds are great this year. We saw the Spitfire dedicate themselves to a run by picking up Shane Wright. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. After this game, I went out and had a couple of beers at one of my favorite Halifax bars, the Loose Cannon. Just a fun city. The Mooseheads games are such a great way to start the night off. But that's all for now. Let me know what you think on that and more down below.